everyone, welcome back to the workshop. And today I wanted to bring you along on a quick little project that I'm doing while testing out the Jakota L1 laser. I like to do a project in the middle of the testing just to really give it a good workout and not just do test cuts of plywood and other woods, um, but to really put the laser to a test on something real world. And so today what I'm doing is I have a bundle of these LED light strips from various projects, from my RC airplanes to some decorative uh, wall art. And so I thought today I would play around with the idea of a backlit outline of an airplane. You may have saw my video earlier about the wall hanging with the Corsair. Well, I'm gonna take that same idea, but mix it up with a different style airplane. We're gonna be cutting out some eight inch Baltic burst plywood for this project. And we're gonna see how we can create kind of a backlit uh, outline airplane image, uh, whether it be a wall hanging art or maybe a desk art. I don't know where this is going to go. I'm just going to start playing around with it and we'll see where it develops from there. So if that's something that interests you, stay tuned. We'll jump right into it. So as I mentioned, we are working with the Jakota L1 10 watt diode laser and uh, I have the file set up here to first do an engrave to add the name of the airplane and we're going to do a cutout for the back plate. The cutting operation is running at uh, 250 millimeters a minute at 100% power and this overall job took about 23 minutes to complete. So once we had the plywood cut out we went ahead and switched over to some tracing paper or parchment paper to cut out to act as a diffuser for the LED lights that we we're going to install later. So once this is cut out we go ahead and I'm just grabbing some Elmer's craft glue there that's just kind of the glue stick and I'm um, taking that back side flipping it over to uh, add that glue and we'll just make it sure it's around the outside. I'm not really worried about it sticking to the inside of the frame. That'll uh, cut down on any uh, overage of glue. We just kind of press this in place and rub it in tight so to make sure that it stays down nicely. And uh, that uh, purple just kind of shows you where the glue's at and then as it dries clear, you know it's done. And so here I'm using my mini chop saw upgrade. It's a little uh, Harbor Freight cut saw. And I'm just cutting out some uh, roughly quarter inch dowels and I'm gonna use these as standoffs. So what you missed is I did drill some kind of half through that plywood with the uh, drill bit to give myself a place to mount these pegs into. I'm just using some uh, Starbond CA and accelerator. So I created two different styles. This one, the LEDs are glued onto the backer board, used a little extra piece of parchment paper there to act as a diffuser. And then on this other one, I adhered the LEDs to the back of the plane to shine onto the backer board. So um, that gives a slightly different effect of glow. And so now let's get these glued in place and see how they look. So again, I'm just using a little bit of CA on the ends of the dowels and then kind of eyeballing it into place. And then I will use some accelerator again to lock them down. And then uh, we'll go back around and add just a little extra CA to uh, hold those in place. Again, these are just kind of prototypes trying to get an idea of the effect that these LEDs will glow on there. Still not quite sure where this project's going to go, but uh, we'll get these both glued in and uh, do a little comparison in just a minute. All right, so here we have it, a couple of prototypes on these backlit uh, airplane outlines. And uh, I, I like things about each one. Uh, definitely, I think I like the backlit one on this darker outline one. It gives it a more even appearance. It was easier to handle because it was just one strip of LED lights and added kind of just a diffused layer there with some of the parchment paper and such. Um, but I don't necessarily like the big border. It'd be nice to cut that down, but I still need enough room for those dowel standoffs. And uh, maybe if this backer was a little bit uh, bigger, it would uh, give it a better backdrop to glow off of. Um, so, you know, I might play around with this a little bit more, uh, dive into it, see if I can uh, really get a good mixture of uh, the highlighting of the backlight uh, as well as the outline. But um, uh, this is just some of what we do in the shop as we get an idea, we play with it and see if something comes from it. So I hope this maybe inspired you uh, to try this out yourself. I'll have links down to some of the things such as the LED lights and uh, the type of plywood and such. Uh, it's really easy to work with this. You do need to know how to solder a little bit, uh, but other than that, um, really easy to play around with these designs. So. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it inspired you and I uh, hope you can get out in your workshop and do something similar and we will catch you around next time.